The coronavirus has infected this podcast. You have entirely too much energy. Wow. I, the thing is, I can't believe that you just woke up again, dude. This this is the wake up time. <laughs> That's that is Seth, a little how surprising. Have you been awake? I've been awake thirty five minutes, but I have my caffeine. Are you I'm serious? Yes. See, this oh is, is the wake up time. God. When do you no, wake I up? up? I was up like four hours, three hour, four hours ago. That's insane, Matt. Actually, that's insane. It's nine a.m. Yeah. here. That's Here's not... the situation. You you want to know why why I do it? It's sure. it's called big dickery, and here's how it works. You you wake up at an ungodly early hour, and then you start firing off your work emails before people on the East Coast even get in their office, and that makes them feel like shit for the rest of the day and gives you better negotiating power. <laughs> I feel like your I emails from the are like the above the fold. Like, like if I get into my <laughs> office at 9 a.m., anything that happened before 9 a.m. didn't happen. Honestly, it it's, happen. it's yesterday stuff. I probably took care of it yesterday. That's and not that's true. where it'll stay. No, because I emailed your ass before you even got no, in there. I wouldn't look at it. I only look at today's emails. From real though, th that's from today. No, no. It's from today. I just kicked your ass waking up early. I I, I filter those don't you, right. Don't you feel intimidated? I feel like the early bird gets the virus, especially whenever you're in the epicenter of the virus. That's not true at all. Because when I go to my local QFC, nobody's there. What's a QFC? <laughs> when it's five a.m. Uh, All the food center. Obviously. That sounds like a government program. It's it's just a store. Well, no, for real <laughs> though. KFC. For real though. You you read the art of the deal? Did you really? I've never read the art of the deal, but I'm oh, gonna yeah, assume okay. things like that are in it. <laughs> uh, probably. Dig diggery. That There's like a whole chapter Seth called Dig Diggery. Read. You read it, right, I Seth? Haven't. No, oh. I haven't read it. It's not, what it's about not something the, I would read. Is your I, microphone popping, Seth? Me? Good. Are you hearing popping? I I I mean I haven't listened for it. Okay, okay you I'll, would have noticed. I'll it. Turn the game never in. mind. Um, all right. So before we get the podcast going here, is ruined. Jesus oh. Christ. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> fine. I think it might. Have, I might have just. I might. It might be my headphones. <clears throat> Sevenus podcast. All right. So Sevenus forced us to do a podcast, and Sevenus created a Patreon. Wait, Talk no, about I think that we Patreon. agreed last time. Why are we front loading this Patreon thing to the front of this podcast? I noticed in our group chat, everyone's like, "You should talk about it at the beginning." I'm like, "Why are we selling out so hard?" <laughs> Well, people in the YouTube comments were like, hey, if they're really serious about this Patreon thing, I'd be interested. So uh, I feel like you did a bad job of selling your idea, Matt. I don't have to sell it. Listen, it's simple. If you want double the episodes, subscribe to the Patreon. That's well, a lot of people, I wasn't even clear last time when we were doing premium episodes. So what? I'm in this thing and I didn't no, even know what's going on. That's fine. Listen, it's a, it's a self-discovery thing. I even I know when we're doing... The pay, the premium episodes. Even That's I know that. That's true. I don't know anything. What do you know, about Seth? How do I know? I said, what do you know? What do I know? Did you know it? It's Thursdays. Episodes well, no, are Mondays. What? <laughs> what? No. Oh, no. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Episodes are Mondays. Premium episodes are Thursdays. Oh, are the they? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. when they come out. Really? Wait. So well, I, wait. I, but hold I, on. I just hold on. No, 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 no. This is no, a, this we learned this make... together. Okay, but. All, the premium episode has to air after the this like you can't release this one today. The, today, no, the, the episode that we what? record today, you can't release today. Mom, what do you mean release today? There's not going to be a premium episode this week. Okay, I'm the making sure that's start. what you're doing. I'm just checking because you do things <clears throat> differently. Bitch, we're not recording and then instant uploading. Well, that's what it sounded like. You Should I not Thursdays. be live streaming right now? <laughs> Should I be live streaming right now? I don't care at all, honestly. <laughs> You didn't introduce um, the guest. You didn't front load the Patreon. Wait, you're the worst everybody, host. Are you the host? This is that's true. Nobody why, knows who I why am. Why does this? Why right. does this? Why does everybody feel like all podcasts have to be this like professional suit and tie fucking thing with sections and segments and all this BS? Listen, everybody knows Seth. Isn't my isn't Maybe. my name going to be like in the title somewhere or something? It like that? literally will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no one reads the title. It's true. No one reads. And you're going to be on the premium episode. Oh, sweet. Because we <laughs> roped you into recording for two hours today. <laughs> well, subscribe to Patreon. That's how you That's how you get to hear more of this. What's the URL? Oh, God. They don't. They can find that out. Like, no one can find you don't it out. Trust, you don't trust people to go digging? No. 
They need help. They can hold their they hands. They really don't. They're not that stupid. Are they stupid? Good. Are you calling them stupid? I'm calling me stupid for being here. If you can't figure out <laughs> patreon.com slash mindcrack, maybe you shouldn't subscribe to our Patreon. Um, our Patreon is reserved for people who can find it. Oh, it's, it's that's an pretty exclusive. exclusive. Club. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, we also added Discord. I don't know why we did that. You did what? Apparently, do you not read the, the podcast chat? The podcast chat? Where's yeah, that? there's this whole section that says you definitely talk in it. You shut up, you. <laughs> I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, Michael. Michael says it was suggested in the community Discord that backers could get a special role on the Discord server. And my instantaneous reaction was, fuck that. <laughs> and then they talked about it so much. I'm like, fine, I'll just do it. Did you do it? So I guess I guess now on the community Discord, you get a little color or something. I don't know. It's How a do you role get in the community Discord? It's a role that doesn't mean anything as far as I know. How do you Maybe get in the community does. Discord? I, I, that question, I literally don't know the answer to. <laughs> You know, I'm in it. No I don't know the answer to that. I have no idea how to get into it. <laughs> All right. It's a pretty exclusive don't. club, too. It's you have to very very exclusive. Honestly, I have no idea how to we get into it. We offer all the exclusives. Oh, well, I know. You can subscribe to the Patreon, and then I think it gives you a link to it as well. <laughs> <laughs> the free Discord. You yes. can only get into the it free, if you pay for it. The free Discord. You can totally. I think it gives you a link because one of the permissions I had to give it was to create invites. So pretty sure it'll give you a link to the discord when you go join the also there's three tiers on our Patreon. There's a $5 premium tier and then $15 also called also premium and then 25 called the most premium. They're the same. Just, just to tell everybody they're literally the same thing. It's just how much money do you want to give us? You know, it's pretty special. Maybe we should add a thousand dollar tier. You should. What would they get? I think that would just be the mostest premium tier. <laughs> well, they're not. They're, still not they're not the same though, because giving us more money does have consequences, right? That's true. Bigger told, D. Consequences. There's, a, there's like a threshold or something of money, a monetary threshold. Oh yeah, when I click on relationships, apparently, by the way, patrons are relationships in the manager thing. Mm -hmm. there's three people that have given us more than five dollars a month can you believe three idiots and no, I mean, you're saying three... <laughs> that patreon has put us in a relationship with these people and now we're in a relationship is that the consequence with, i don't think I, i'm allowed to say like you can't give people's names out on on this you could there's you know, one that's 25 dollars, one that's 15 dollars, and another that's 15 dollars you and that's the consequence, though, is that we're in a relationship? Is that what you were saying? We're in a deeper relationship, I guess, with those guys. I there was whenever like, you date someone, do you feel if they pay for, like, the mill that you're in a deeper relationship? Or does that not matter? Yeah. Well, it depends if they pay $5 for the meal, $15 for the meal, <laughs> or $25. <laughs> or $1,000. <laughs> or uh, would you pay a thousand dollars for a mill? Is there any mill on this planet that you would pay that much? Yes, for? and I have. You've paid not paid a thousand dollars for a mill. I've paid a thousand dollars because I paid for the other person. It was five hundred dollar meal. Mm, okay, I can believe uh, that per actually. se. Um, Swift door. That was fun. Oh my god, that restaurant was amazing. I was visiting New York City. Oh, and, um, New York City. That's cheating. And then, and what Swift door was like? Hey, let's go to this restaurant while you're here. And I was like cool and then it was a three michelin star joint huh. it was sick oh my god it was literally the best food i've ever had in my life what, what tell us about guess, the food what was the food i on dude I, it was so long ago <laughs> but it was the best food of my life I don't also there, there, <laughs> there was a, they, they gave a kitchen tour and in the kitchen this is how fucking crazy this thomas keller guy is uh in the kitchen there was a monitor of a camera in his other kitchen in California so that the two kitchens across the country could be in sync. Wow. What That's do you mean overboard. in sync? Like, it's not like they're serving the bye, same meals. Bye, bye. Oh, um, no, no, it's just, they flow off. I don't know. Okay. The way he explained it. I don't know how much of the story I believe. 
That's so true. Everything about this is super true. Listen, I make some shit up, but that's real. I never know. I always kind of like flip a coin when you start talking. Like, oh, how that's true? Is true. It? That's like, I'm true. Not, I'm still not convinced that you went and let me. Oh, oh my God. Okay. So after we talked last I time. I have pictures of this. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Now you remember the meal, huh? All right. After we talked last time, you, you talked on, about going down. crazy about Costco and getting all this stuff. I I'm went scrolling to, down. Hmm? What? I'm going to find this damn picture. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, find them. Sh- show, us all, sh- sh- show us all the pictures in this audio podcast. Shit, where is it? Um, well, after you talked about Oh, yeah, this is an audio time. podcast. Yes, it is. Hey, did you like what I did with the um, – I say I, like I'm taking credit for it. Do you like what my team did with the uh, YouTube version? Did you see it? Uh, yeah, I liked how the audio stopped after 30 minutes. No, it didn't. Oh, when you fixed it, it didn't. Yeah, when I did, you like that? That though? Yeah, it's fine. It's good. It's real pretty. Okay, I was kind of hoping for more than that. Oh, it was great. I loved it so much. Okay. All right. So listen, I want to I want to talk about the coronavirus, and I want to tell you my experience going to Costco last weekend. Wait, I, I haven't found these these pictures. It's yet. It's fine. You'll find them. You can look for them while I while was I discuss your or after imminent London. Death. Do you remember when we went to London, Seth? You were in London. Which that was time? forever ago. Wait, Seth, did you go on the boat with us or not? I can't no, remember. No, I was. He was, he was the one. He was the one <laughs> screaming his, his vomit out. I've never oh, really yeah. Real real oh my god! Yeah. Yes, that was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, here I found it. Yeah. I'm gonna link it somewhere. There's I paid a chat for the boat inside of the software. <laughs> a lot of people paid for the boat. That yeah, I, paid, I definitely yeah, paid. So I, I, me yo, and Jeff both tried to tables. get like y'all's mills, and they wouldn't give them to us. They kept saying uh, we were. That's drunk. right. Wait, that's there were only four of us that went. Who was no, it? No, that's not Jeff true. There was definitely more than four because my table had four, and then you sat at a different table, looking embarrassed at me the entire time. Oh, I think it was just two. It was six. It was six because we had. A, it was just. Was it Arcus? I think Arcus was there. I and think Wes, he was, but he was he and was Milby rough. and Jazz and Jeff, right? Oh, Milby was there. Yeah, that's why I was laughing so much. Me and Milby talking about kissing the old ladies. Oh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> look at that food. Hold on, go back. Look, where is where is this at? I I linked it in our in our show recorder. You you can see it exactly oh, as much as the audience can, Goode. So don't worry about it too much. <laughs> yes, no. Just I want you to look at this delicious. This and by does the way, not that look plate, like it's worth anywhere plate, near that amount of money. That plate in the bottom left was an extra hundred dollars. <laughs> what was the bottom left? That's is some that a steak a, or is that? It all looks a like whatever. dessert. It looks like you went and had a five hundred dollar dessert. That's some a whatever wagyu. Oh, it does right mostly there. look like dessert. And, oh, and, and that and little I love white the, the stuff right there. That they squirted up That's there above not your mayonnaise. A whatever. <laughs> that is not mayonnaise. That is palm whatever. Palm, palm mayonnaise. Oh, yeah, I, I get some of that every night. That's some palm puree, bitch. <laughs> and it was one bite of a... Ma- you know, I do wish the portions were bigger. But the thing was, it was a 12-course meal, and I was stuffed at the end. I love the little muffin it came with, too. Here's your A whatever wagyu with some mayonnaise and Yo, a cinnamon muffin. You know muffin. all this shit's, like, crazy, though. Like, that, that is, like, some weird... That other thing is some weird broccoli thing. I, I don't know. It was amazing, though. It was delicious. The it looks like you like, had dessert. You had four courses you, of dessert. You want to know what, the other, what I didn't like? Actually, and this is where I learned, the I don't really tag. like caviar. Well, some you, caviar is like kind of gross, honestly. It's just it's it's just a different form of salt, kind of. I don't know. <laughs> That's yeah. kind of true. It's very briny. Like fishy, fishy salt. Fishy salt. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like it that much. Okay, now we've seen your picture of your thing. I want to talk about how you you will all be dead soon. Um, because I, you were talking about prep it. I don't know how I, this is where I, again, I don't know how true what you said is. I don't know if you actually, oh, I'll take pictures. I'd love to see those too. You're um, the one buying out all the stores here, huh? Well, that's what Literally. I'm so upset also, about. I, I went to Costco last Sunday. bottles of hand sanitizer from Amazon that were left. <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you bought out Amazon of San Antonio. I, I literally did. Yeah. yeah. Okay. There was nothing on the shelves at Costco. And my state didn't I even told have you. A, it oh, didn't it didn't even have a oh confirmed case. Yes. There's no confirmed case. Did I just cases. win? What? Fuck. Yes. I just won. Whatever that battle was that you and I had over that, well, I Well, that's won the it. thing that's so weird. It's got to be weird people that are going to Costco because the grocery stores and everything is fine. No one's going crazy in the normal stores. But you go to Costco and they're, all the shelves are empty. You can't get water. You can't get toilet Wait, paper. You can't get – Our Costco is not – That's how Seth, mine was. No, actually, no. Uh, somebody – I was talking to somebody 
they were saying that Saturday they went to Costco and they were sold out of hand soap. There was one tiny bag of rice left. I didn't even know Costco carries tiny bags of rice. Uh, and then there was something else they were out of. Then that was that was Saturday in the Seattle area. Yeah. Wow. I I definitely prepped well then. There I mean, was tons of stuff when I went. It's, the only thing I didn't have was hand sanitizer like two weeks ago or a week and a half ago. Yeah, I couldn't get rice. They would not let you take a shopping cart until you took an alcohol wipe from them and wiped down the shopping cart. There really? Was, yeah, there was employees at all the uh, the doors in the cooler section. And like every time someone would open a door, they would wipe down the they would wet the door that was just open, which I don't understand what why the they were just they opening the doors. What's going to happen? I mean, y'all are going to die. Y'all are in Seattle. Like, what are y'all going to do? We're not going to die. We're going to get it, but we're not going to die. You might. 3% of you will. That's not true. Okay. Can we just clarify this right now? That 3% thing, it's 3% of people that are in considered an at risk that die. That's not this true. This is the thing. That is so fucking true. No, it's and not. And with the general population, is 0.5. Look it up. You're spreading that is, misinformation. That's... That is what I heard. <laughs> from from a doctor on television. Okay. Yeah, it was a doctor it, Oz. Uh, it was Tucker somebody Phil. on M- some doctor they were interviewing on MSNBC. <clears throat> oh god, um, MSNBC! That's the fakest of news. I is think, it? I think the three percent number MSNBC. is is probably not right, but I don't think it's. I don't. I didn't. I didn't hear. I didn't hear what you heard. But also, it is like, isn't it only confirmed cases that right. can only go into that calculation right? right so there's like people who there's probably like asymptomatic people who we're never hearing about and stuff like that right there's so many people probably that have especially younger people that are just like i have a cold whatever yeah. here's what i don't understand why is it that we have a case in north carolina that came from your state how is that why is everyone traveling so what far do you, what do you mean we're in a super connected world no Especially I was in not North Carolina now. Yesterday, I keep seeing these memes like normal person gets a fever, they go and lay in the bed. Someone gets coronavirus, and they're like, "How far can I travel?" When I get a fever, I definitely do the whole "How far can I travel?" <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't stop me from doing things. So uh, I know you guys were super excited about Minecraft Festival. Did you see that got canceled? Wait, yeah. do you have coronavirus or not? Me? Yes. No. What? What? By the way, good, you got to slow down on these topic changes. All right, we're 17 minutes and 25 seconds. Well, no, we're still talking about the coronavirus. We got okay. two hours all right. All to right. go. All right, all right. <laughs> I just feel like, okay, I'm really stressed out about this whole thing because of the whole cruise. I The whole cruise has got me stressed out about coronavirus. You just changed topics again. I, uh, but you're, uh, this is why I, I have a lot of <laughs> What's the what? What's the cruise? The cruise was uh, that's in in Florida. Well, now I got to write all this stuff down. Cruise, so we remember to talk about this. <laughs> so the Disney cruise, me, my daughter and I. Normally, normally my daughter comes to Extra Life United, but this yeah. year, um, Extra Life United is happening. It's it's happening. <laughs> um, April sixth. Oh, I'll add that as another topic so that we don't miss that either. <laughs> <laughs> April sixth through the tenth. <laughs> Um, and her spring break starts on the 10th. So um, we, we planned on going on a cruise for her, her spring break instead of her missing school to come to Extra Life United. It didn't make sense to miss a week of school and then miss another week of school for spring break. Um, so she's flying down supposedly on April 10th for us to go on this Disney cruise. But now I'm worried that the whole world's going to shut down. It's not going to shut down. Well, they shut down. They shut down. A, this is what I don't understand. Um, I mean, we talked about uh, this a little bit last week about the, uh, you know, conventions and stuff closing. GDC closed, um, and I asked in the Extra Life United chat, I was like, "So GDC closed, and they're uh, they're happening basically <laughs> the same time as the Extra Life United, but um, Extra Life United is not being canceled. But Extra Life United is a convention where we're flying kids. It's that the are, words uh, that you use, Goo. We remember when I told you this. The words. I want, can you read it word for word? Oh God, I can try to find it. Hold on. The words that you used were <laughs> were what was wrong with what you said. <laughs> I mean, I'm just oh trying God. to be honest. I'm just what? imagining he, he's like, are we going to kill a bunch of sick kids with this one? <laughs> That's what I did. Basically, that is what I asked. basically, literally, what, asked. Okay. basically what he and said. You don't see any. Okay. You, you have no problem with. OK. All right. All right. I mean, he's like, I'm just trying I don't to make know sure why they're, I don't know why they're upset with me. The whole picture. I don't There's know a- why they're upset with me. <laughs> What's what? going on? Oh, I just got an, an email from E3. When's that <clears throat> going to be canceled? June. And it says, 
Registration is now open. <laughs> so that's wow. happening. That was exciting. <laughs> Um, All right. What I said exactly was I haven't seen any chat here about this, but with most convention canceling due to coronavirus, what are the chances that EOU even happens or the Twitter America Never Hotspur even Gala happens. for that matter? Yeah, that's such a hostile way of putting this. Yeah. It seems bringing God, the champions so in on a plane to a convention is more of a risk than what happens at other gaming oh, and conventions. And now you're giving them advice. <laughs> that has already been canceled around the same time the EOU is scheduled. That's all I said. Okay. So you spoke down to them like they can't make their own decision. I asked and this then, in a group <laughs> chat. I didn't ask it. I didn't like email like the CEO of Children Hospitals and be like, hey, this is this is the hot take. Listen, it's a month from tomorrow that I fly to Florida. You're flying on the 5th? Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's the 6th. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Uh, uh, yeah. A month from tomorrow. And I'm flying. I think Period. I'm not going to do it. They keep saying they're going to book our flights, and they keep not. I think they're holding out for no, the cancellation. Mine's booked. mine's booked. Really? Really? As of this morning. <clears throat> you just don't want to book because your flight I woke up after, after that. Because, because I woke up at 5 a.m. This is what happens when you wake up at a reasonable hour. You get things done. But the travel agent had to have come. No, I don't believe you. You're lying again. The travel agent was I, up at 5 a.m. booking flights. No, Brandon was. No, he wasn't. He doesn't book anything. <laughs> no, he wasn't. <laughs> no. I'm happen. literally screenshotting this shit. I don't believe you. <laughs> Let's see it. Wait, you don't have a you you seriously did not get anything in your email? No. Really? Yes. In fact, the last email from Brandon said, Thank you for well, sending you me said, all this you know over. What? I'm going yeah. to send it to the travel agent now. Yeah, because you said all that shit in his chat. Yeah, is he considering? Am I unambassadored? And now, and now you're no longer an ambassador. There, oh. look at that. I I DM'd you on Discord. Oh, look at that. There's there's my flight. Done. That's not even booked. It doesn't. You it, see, it, look, it you've been booked. called. Okay. okay, do I need to go through the other six oh, messages? There is, a, <laughs> there is a PDF down there. Maybe maybe it did. He just said this is a pr pr proposed Cause, flight because I said no. Because listen, they want me to leave there at like 7 a.m., which, by the way, I'm down for. It's just that the magical bus or whatever picks you up so freaking early. Yeah, if your flight's that early, the magical express won't take you. Just actually. because they don't think be, you have pre-check and all this yeah, other stuff. They, they, they the pick you up before. at like 4. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that sucks. Yeah. So um, I tried to get him to change it, and then he said no. <laughs> so really? That's, well, it wasn't so much of a no as so much of a... No. You think yeah. it's my fault? Is no, I mean I, I'm I'm booked. <laughs> no, you're you're just not booked because they fucking hate you. Mm. Probably, I think they might not. They might not hate you. Anyway, Seth, are you going? I, I don't think I'm going. Oh, you're not. Because you're going to just because you don't want to go. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going. I yeah, I don't know. I I I think like the odds you pick up coronavirus there are really high. Why? Is it because they're flying in all the champions? Is that who you're worried about? They're flying in everybody it, from everywhere. It's it's is it the kids? You know, it's people from across the country. It's CEOs, people who like are not taking breaks from their daily. You know, they're not they're not self quarantining. There's lots of people coming from everywhere, and I think it's just going to be a Corona cesspool. And I don't Look, personally, I'm, I'm not afraid of getting coronavirus for myself, but I do have you know lunch with my parents every week. They're old they're like 70 something yeah i don't want them to get it oh man and, you know and i wouldn't even know necessarily know if i had coronavirus was? i would just right yeah you would come back and give it to everyone i mean yeah. i'm gonna take it on a cruise with me <laughs> yeah your cruise is in a month wait what was that scary email you got oh i get i didn't get a scary email i got an email from disney that soothed my soul wait didn't we was that on the podcast no no that was after the podcast yeah it made me feel let's, so well, good. Let's talk about your private information. What was said in it? Oh, God, I got to find it. Hold on. It was like, you literally cannot enter this cruise ship unless you have been like quarantining yourself for the last month. Basically. basically. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. I guess we talked about this. Yeah. After. Um, see, so as you prepare for your cruise, let you know that Disney's all 
super worried. Uh, any guest or crew member who has traveled from or to China, including Hong Kong, whatever, Iran, uh, Iran, Iran, Italy, Japan, uh, it's a long list. Uh, within 20 days of their selling departure, will not be able to board our ships. Um, any guest who's been in contact with someone from these areas will also not be able to board the ship. Anyone who's been on a plane that has been connected in any of these areas will also not be allowed to board the ship. And it says, like, be sure to rebook your flights if your flight is one of those planes. Um, any, we'll, we'll, we will be checking guest temperatures before they board the plane. Anyone with a temperature over 100.4 will not be allowed to board the plane or board the ship. I mean, mm. um, then there's a bunch of other rules, but depending on where you're going, like who the Bahamas is allowing off of the ship. I didn't know Disney's Castaway K. I thought that was owned by Disney, but it's still like governed by at least by yeah. Bahama people, <laughs> Bahama men. Um, <laughs> is that <laughs> the Bahamas? Wait, what is, the Bahamas. Wait, what are Bohemians? Is that from Bahamas? That's Wait, what is this? Really what is, different thing. No. What? It, wow, I would have believed that. You could have convinced me. Bohemians or <laughs> Bahamans? What are they called? Uh, a person, a, a person from Bahamas, and our citizen of Bahamas is called Bahamian. Oh, I got it right. That didn't was I? so close to Bohemian. <laughs> That's pretty close. But it is that is close. Bahamian. Um, but then you know it also wow. says that like they're you know they're going to be double timing it on cleaning everything and it's going to be great and I feel like that's the I'm that's the safest place to be is on a cruise ship this well D- Disney cruise with, ship with, with recycled with, air with Mickey I feel like Mickey going to keep us safe Mickey's Disney magic be safe. Disney magic mm-hmm. yeah um, probably not it's got to. but I mean the thing is I'm not going to let this I'm not going to let this stupid virus control my life okay i agree listen did you got did you see the map that i linked you guys that, yeah that's the, what i've been looking at forever that's, that's look the, at that, that total is recovered the look at that total recovered what's up oh, i'm just fifty three thousand <laughs> recovered like come on i was just looking at your your dessert meal again that's <laughs> oh that's good too like... i mean that was that was delicious but look oh i guess there's a case in tampa now this Uh-oh. isn't. Oh no! It's this, getting. It's getting. This close. isn't like a, a map of coronavirus. This is a game of pan, of of not pandemic. Uh, was <laughs> that's yeah, also playing. a great game. Which, by the way, last weekend I started playing again pandemic? the board yeah. game pandemic. It's so good. It's so good. Do you do the um the legacy? Legacy, yeah. Legacy is so good. Are you starting up on one that you've already played, or is this? Uh, no, a new I had to start up a game? new one because it's like I hadn't played it in like years. Uh, you have to keep the same people with the same story kind of in order for it to make sense. I see. How many people is this game? Agree? How many how many are you playing with? Four. Okay. Um but yeah, yeah, what Why you're talking is about Seattle's with your dot is so big. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you got the big dot. Yeah. Nine deaths. That's I feel that like ten. death ten. per conf- yeah. Oh, is it? Well, this is a nice Oh, there's link. a death oh. up above in Snohomish yeah, County. Really that one has death. Snohomish. What a name. It's a, yeah. yeah, it's it's a Native American tribe. Mm. Wow. Talk about disrespecting yeah. cultures, dude. Really disrespectful. <laughs> Good Lord. I agree. Well, you have to have the highest percentage of confirmed to death ratio. Yeah, well, I mean, it was in the old people home. Like, How did it get there? That place is... Also, think about the the CEO How did they get that, there? that home right now, just shitting bricks about one of, how one of their no children. Like, one of their children <laughs> went to Florida for a convention and then came back and didn't know he was infected. Oh, <laughs> that's uh, true. Yeah, my grandma's take on this whole thing is is maybe I'll get it. <laughs> she's uh, <laughs> she's really excited about that possibility. Uh, what was it? I was reading the epidemiologist. Um, talking yesterday about how he expects 40 to 60 percent of the world to get it at some point yeah. um yeah which makes sense to me actually i feel like that's kind of low i kind of just feel like everyone's gonna get it and it's just gonna kind of yeah. be there I, yeah actually i feel like next fall is gonna be the worst after the summer when it comes back like the flu Ooh. oh you go. think it because the the heat's gonna kill it I think it's going to make it easier to recover from. Just kind of like the flu, how it goes in waves, you know? Yeah, but maybe there'll be a vaccine seasons, by then. Seasonally. That would be the fat. Oh, but yeah, that would be the Why fastest vaccine ever made, it? apparently. There are. Yeah. Period. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to. 
Mm -hmm. The guy was like, it takes like five years just to do all the human testing, which they're somehow going to have to do faster. (sighs) How do you speed up side effects? Just give somebody like 30x the dosage and see what happens. (laughs) I think that's how it it works. works. (laughs) Is that how that works? Uh, Yeah. When are are we going to get, what's that called? Slicer? CRISPR. um, What? Gene editing. CRISPR. Oh, oh yeah. When, I when forgot about that. that. <laughs> Whatever happened to that? <laughs> what is that question on me? I think nothing ever. There, there. It's a nothing it's still a thing. It. I don't know. Well, but what? Yeah. The, like, did the research like? Yeah, they're doing it. Continue. Yeah, yeah, I think it's even more and more and more. Okay. We're gonna Wasn't get using it like, so we uh, never die. Um. Umbilical cord stem, cells. Stem what the cell. hell are those called? Jesus Christ, I'm an idiot. Stem cells? Yeah, stem cells. Wasn't it like, wasn't <laughs> it stem cell research? Cells? I, what? I got there. My, listen, I just woke up. Yeah. I did. <laughs> That's what we call them here in the South. <laughs> baby, Umbilical dead baby cells. cells. <laughs> <laughs> the dead baby cells, yeah. <laughs> you support them dead baby cells? <laughs> Vote for Trump. Save the dead baby cells. Oh, my God. You are in a Trump state, aren't you? I am deep. How does it? How does it feel? It feels good. Everyone how does it feel? Trump oh my god! It's been so long since we've spoken. Yeah. How does it feel to have voted your ballot I into the know! trash can? What? Who'd you vote? I mean, that sucks. He he voted I for the You already sent Pete in the ballot. Oh and my I, well, god! Of course I did. I'm a good American. It's uh, it's now not due I can't for do week. anything about it. I, yeah, I feel yeah. like you shouldn't vote that early. This is your whole you you woke up for yeah. four a.m. for the election. This is the four a.m. philosophy. Yeah, and you know what? I'm still proud of it. Okay. Yeah. Done. I'm still proud of it because so, I believe in this. I gentleman. If I woke up at four a.m., he will probably be president at some. If point I woke up at four a.m. Right? and I was like, I got to vote now. I might. I probably would have voted for him too. Actually. Yeah. But I didn't. <laughs> yeah. He makes a lot of sense. I feel like he's destined to be president at some point in time. I don't know. I don't know. I would have agreed with you a few months ago. What happened since then? He's very centr- centrist. I, yeah. I, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah that's one of the things you? I don't like about him. So. Oh. Yo, I, I, I like the fact that he's not going to tax the shit out of me. I mean, he would, but not as much as bernie <laughs> oh god oh god well bernie can't win so that's the that's the issue there can he not the there's no way Why you not? actually think 50 percent of america okay not even it has to be more than that for a democrat to win right more than 50 percent of america is going to vote for him why not there's no way he's so le- i don't even know if i would vote for him <laughs> I'd um, rather not vote, probably. That's how I feel about Biden. God, okay. <laughs> what well, do you I like mean, Biden? To some degree, that's how I feel about I mean, Pete. So I don't really. Uh, but, why can't we all just agree? I mean, that's the problem. Is the Democratic that's, Party is, the is basically yeah. two parties at this point, point. and that's it why is. I think it's, it's going to be. Big. It's not that it's too big. It's just that it's, it's too, too separated. Like there's it's too big in that there's too many ideas. Mm. I mean, there's, there's are, just the far left, and then there's the people that are trying so hard to appeal to the Republicans that aren't ever going to work with anybody, anyways. Um, all this, like, I got to get closer to the center so that I can, you know, rule from the center well, for. I mean, we're, we're never course correcting. We're every time a Republican's in office, we're going further and further right, but we're never pulling it back left yeah. ever. Well, I think I don't agree with uh, the far left. That's fine. That's just, I just, I just like being in the middle. Why can't we just make everybody happy? It's why does impossible. it have to be? Why does it have to be a hundred percent happiness for for one group of people instead of just ninety percent for everyone? Mm-hmm. I'm down with that. Ninety percent happiness for everyone. I hear you, but no, everybody wants everything. Ugh. I just want health care. Why do you want free health care? I am literally bankrupting myself trying to pay for health care for me and my daughter. Like it's so expensive. Mm. How expensive is it? 
a brown eight thousand dollars a year just for me. Oh my god, I thought you were gonna say a month. I was about to lose my shit. <laughs> no, I mean, but still, like eight thousand a year is an is an expense that I'm just. I mean, I'm throwing that money away. That's not even like if but we you're go to the doctor. Like we just, still have to you're pay. Just like, throw it away in a different way. Uh, you just rather throw it away in a different way, just not premiums. My taxes would not go up by the amount that I spend on healthcare under under a Medicare for all plan. Mine Period. would. No. <laughs> I think it. Yeah. I think Matt's I don't would. believe you. Uh, I think it would. You think um, you, you think you would pay an additional ten thousand dollars a year in taxes? No, because I don't pay ten thousand dollars for healthcare because I have a negotiated healthcare. How much do you pay for uh, healthcare? My healthcare total healthcare costs to me, uh, I pay two twenty a month. Well, you don't have a kid. You're paying for just yourself. If I was just no, paying okay. for myself, so that's about what I'd be paying too. With a kid, it, uh, that adds one hundred and ten. So it'd be three thirty a month. What is that? That's not eight thousand dollars. Well, your healthcare is just cheaper there. I, I better go up after you, after you guys created the <laughs> pandemic. Well, it's a nego- it's a negotiated price. Are you you're doing single? Like you're just, it's just you, right? Negotiating right. with a massive thing, right? So I have like employees and we can negotiate right. better rates. Well, I mean, that's not true. Like we, like Crystal works at a credit union and the insurance yeah. for my daughter is no cheaper there. It's more expensive. And it's the same coverage. How? I Apparently they're maybe in a different bracket. Really, it was how it was explained to me. Really cheap. Maybe I just have really cheap healthcare. <laughs> I don't know about Again, it. Again, I feel like that's going to change now that you guys created a pandemic. Why? I mean, the the price of healthcare because it can only go up if you're taxing the system, right? The what more system? Supplies and supply and demand. Are there more doctor visits right now? I feel like there's less. I feel like less people are going to the doctor because they're like, I don't want to go to that fucking disease ridden place. <laughs> like, I literally have a doctor, a regular doctor appointment on Monday, and I don't know if I'm going. Huh? Like, it's just a checkup. Why would I go to just a checkup when that place could be full of? Ooh. I mean, I guess it could. Um, well, what if you did fear that you had the coronavirus? I was reading that the the price to get tested for the coronavirus is three thousand three hundred dollars. That's what the CDC is charging. Apparently. Wow. I guess it's wait. Not, uh, no, that's what I read. No, that was I saw that. That's like just somebody who went into their ho- like that was just the hospital bill. That's just anytime you go to the hospital, it's going to cost that much. Oh, but that makes total sense. Why is it every other country in the world can provide healthcare, but we can't do it whenever we're supposedly this fucking beacon of light for the rest of the world? We can, but that's not capitalist. <laughs> Some things don't. I mean, we can have a capitalist society. Everything doesn't have to be ran by capitalism. Well, I mean, it, it kind of. I mean, it just depends on what your views are on it. Then I guess it kind of does. Yeah, I mean, I don't. I honestly, I honestly don't care about healthcare. I mean, it's a weird thing to not care about. I it just is. I mean, don't. and also the healthcare I talked about does not cover dental or or vision. I literally have a mouth that yeah, is a jacked plan. up, and I can't yeah. afford to do anything about it. That's a supplemental plan, yeah. Yeah. Wait, that's only like thirty dollars a month. That's not true. Yeah, North Carolina is sucking right now when it comes to <laughs> offering insurance. I recently learned about like dental uh, dental insurance, I- and apparently it actually doesn't really cover that much. Like, I was I, so I don't have dental insurance. It doesn't. Uh, I had uh, I had a double emergency root canal a few months ago, six months ago, and uh, oh, and God. I was like, oh man, I maybe I should have gotten dental insurance. Maybe this and then. The, you know, the lady there was like, nah, you would have run way past the limit of coverage on dental insurance. <laughs> it just like, it doesn't. Wow. Yeah. It was expensive though. Yeah. I think mine's only like $2,000. Yeah. yeah. I would, I ran way past $2,000 <laughs> max. Yeah. Which is weird. Cause dental does the opposite, right? Healthcare. There's a maximum mm-hmm. out of pocket. And mm-hmm. for dental, it's like a lot of healthcare plans stop. do have really high. Well, maximum payouts though like half a million dollars stuff like that which you can run over that's po- oh, possible to run over that if you have certain things yeah i know in our state um the state healthcare thing is like god tier like actual god tier. it's better than the insurance i have that's for sure um just like state low income healthcare it's just free just take it just anything anything you need just go get it hey it's uh crazy. before and I guess that's kind of a model. Before we hit people the premium episode, <laughs> I do want to talk about the project I've been working on. Is that can we do that during this episode? 
<laughs> you think you're to wait, pitch things in this podcast? He didn't Dude, even you introduce did you. did not tell me this. Yesterday, you said in the chat, Seth's on for tomorrow. You didn't mention that this was a yeah. fucking ad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is the <laughs> Seth Bling ad time. Are you serious? You Did you know this was an ad? I absolutely knew that he was going to talk about his new thing you're that he's been working me. on. Are you serious? Nope. I mean, yes, yes, this I am serious. This is some bullshit right now. <laughs> I actually have a thing I wanted to talk about with Seth's thing. Oh, yeah, Seth let's talk do about it. Oh, my thing. God. Yeah. Is this right. the advertising set? All right, I'll bring up the Audible read. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, this episode brought to you by They're Audible. not actually what paying us for this, this are week, they? Good. <laughs> okay, so what are you no, doing? No, <laughs> not. Are you kidding? <laughs> what are you doing? Absolutely not. <laughs> I know he's well, I giving we it away in, for free. I thought um, we were in the advertise. Well, yeah. I was reading a book about oh, uh, Magic the Gathering. That sounds this interesting. And, um, how it relates. What a fucking nerd. Yeah, it is interesting, and it's it oh, reminds of me. Of- yeah. Wait, is this about your cards? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Well, let's just do the ad read then. Well, I don't. I didn't get the copy for the read, Seth. <laughs> Seth's gonna do the read from his head. Okay, this better be a polish. I'm not doing a damn read. What were you? What book are you reading, dude? Tell me about it. Sounds like an interesting topic. Uh, it's called Seth Bling's. <laughs> I wasn't really. I was. Wait, just hold like, on. Did you read? Did you write a book? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, you wrote a Seth. You wrote a book about wrote magic. Wrote a book. No, because you have just been making. Cards. I mean, he wrote enough words that it could be a novella, probably. The set tells a story. What? Okay. Do dude, you, what did you, you mean? Oh, a lot of flavor Sorry. text. But the, the, it's, the, it's the the cards themselves that tell the story, dude. Hey, anyway, what, what book are you reading? Uh, okay. I'm I'm well right now. I'm reading. Oh, okay. I'm reading One of the, the Tower. Yeah, I'm not reading a book about magic. I was just no kidding. way. There's no way. <laughs> oh. I was just saying that oh. to get to your thing. <sighs> he was helping you transition. Well, okay. No, so I've been working on. I've I've been spending the last four months. <laughs> on a project uh it is a it's it's, i call it mario the gathering it's very clever name uh but yeah it's it's good can i ask just real quick is this a law absolutely a law suitable thing (laughs) uh (laughs) mostly from nintendo i would say Right. Oh, that's yeah. not the direction uh, I thought you were Wizards going. Wizards of the this. Coast has a policy that says basically, like, there's a bunch of guidelines that you have to follow, but like, you're allowed to make custom magic content as long as you follow these policies. Like, you ha- you can't you know charge for it. It has to be available to anyone. Anyone can like modify it and whatever. I can't sell it. Oh, you can't sell this. Yeah. Oh no, it's that's it's not an ad. I actually just want to talk about this fun project I've been working on. God. Oh. No. Oh, I thought this was an ad. I mean, it's still well, an ad. The, just because he's I thought not the selling podcast was going to make <laughs> money. <laughs> yo, yo, you thought okay. Seth was going to pay us? Yes. <laughs> Join us for this podcast and pay us. <laughs> no, I, I'm not making any, any money off of it. No. Okay, what is this? So, it's uh, I'm making a, or I'm almost done with it. Uh, a, it is. This is truly a passion project. 360 cards. I wow. mean, you're you can end yeah, you know, right? I mean, you I put out you, YouTube you're, videos. you've yeah. you've been streaming right. it and stuff. No right. more than you guys right. make money oh. from your whatever's and yeah. I'm not kind of like accusing <laughs> you like how how dare anyway, you anyway I'm just saying yeah, <laughs> obviously like I make money from I actually I don't I don't make very much from I haven't been getting that many viewers on this stuff. It's it's very much a passion project for me. Oh my god! Did you draw? I'm just looking at some I of didn't. your cards right now. Did you draw? I drew all, he drew the all the art. He did I all the art. Actually, right studied insane. art. Just so I like, know it's crazy how good of an artist he is. All this time doing Redstone, you think he'd been like making art? Did your community? No, I've mostly draw been this? stealing them off Deviant Art. Actually, <laughs> yeah. Oh, never mind. <laughs> most of the art. If you, I have artist credit on each card, <laughs> and m- most of it is either screenshots from a game oh, or I like see. a manual, okay. like an uh, you know, get one of the manuals for the games or. From mostly from yeah. art, yeah. But they're yeah, they're three hundred sixty cool. uh, like custom card. Well, some of them are like reprints of actual Magic cards, but with like themed like Mario cards. They have either flavor text or you know art that makes it feel more like a. It's like in a, the Mario universe, but most of them are custom cards that like don't exist as real Magic cards. Uh, and I've like created some custom uh, mechanics, some new like rules for the game. Um, 
And uh, the idea is it's a, it's, if you're familiar with magic, it's a, it's a cube. So 360 cards, you like kind of shuffle them all together, divvy them out to players and they pick cards in a draft and they like draft cards for their deck. And then they build a deck out of the cards that they pick and, uh, and then play against each other. So wait, your draft, you draft, you're not doing like packs. So like you're only, there's, there's only, only one of each, one of each type each, of card yeah, available exactly in the draft. Uh, and it, you do, you do like uh, kind of shuffle them up into okay. 15 card packs like you would for a normal magic draft, booster draft. Uh, but yeah, there's only one of each card. Mm-hmm. So if you like pass a card and you don't take it, you know, you're I never going to get another one of those cards or whatever. Um, I see. Yeah. Yeah. There it's actually some pretty good software. This? I didn't know about it before I started the project, but I've been learning from the, there's like a pretty big uh, like community around custom magic cards. And there's a program called plain sculptors.net. That, well, it's a website uh, that where you can like upload custom sets and draft them. And so you, in order to like, basically what I've been doing is I've been running drafts in my live stream and I just like put a link in my Twitch chat and eight people join and we draft. No one needs anything installed or anything. Uh, yeah. Can you spell this? I literally P L A I P L A N E. Wait, like what? Plane, plane of existence. Oh, like airplane. Yeah. Plane of existence. Oh, yeah. oh. Plane sculptors. Okay. Like plane of plane. <laughs> yeah. P L A N E. Dot net. Sculptors. S C U L. And actually, anyone can host a draft. Uh, you just have to like make an account. You can host a draft with my oh. set. It's up there. Um. And there's a Discord. There actually are a lot of people. Wow. Like I think right now, I just saw someone started a draft. Uh, so there's people drafting all the time. Um, yeah, and people then you can play? actually play games with the card with the decks that you draft uh, using a program called Cockatrice, which is uh, it's it's like a mythical bird creature thingy. Anyway, but that's the name of the program. Wait a minute. This is super janky. Hold on a second. I'm confused. Yeah. You have to go to Plain Sculptors. Then you you go through there to actually right. and you draft find along out with what seven your cards other people. are. Yeah. And then you you go into a right. you go into no, a, a different you, website. It's software you have to download. So a, a different piece right. of software that can't do the right. draft, you then import your thing into and yeah. then you play against each other with that. It's piece but of it's software. it's pretty smooth. Like Wow, it takes a little a bit to set up that software, but I have instructions. It doesn't take that long. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then it's actually relatively smooth to play with custom cards. I'm trying to find um, Mario. Oh, oh, there it is. Mario mm-hmm. the Gathering by Seth Bling. 300. Oh, it's under mm-hmm. the design section mm-hmm. of PlainSculptors.net. Uh, actually, I think stage? I need to update that. I'm in more like play testing stage. I don't know what the stages are on, on that website, but it's so 360 cards is the total number of cards that I want. Holy wanted. shit. Yeah. You update yeah, this a much lot. daily. Like I've been doing. Yeah. 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 It's like actually daily. I'm looking at your, your yeah, version. Do, log. It is literally uh, daily. Like pretty much every weekday I've been streaming like some play testing and then some modifying, like tweaking cards based on the, the play tests. Yeah, we were supposed to do a draft yesterday, but my grandma was like getting coronavirus. When um, wow, Seth, when you become obsessed with something, you 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 really become obsessed with something. This is the longest wow I've like ever become obsessed with something too, and it's like I haven't burnt out on it either. I don't think that's true. Balls deep, like you played with armor stands stands definitely longer than you played with this. That's not like a. A thing that I did a lot of different projects with it, though. It's your thing. Like, as I think it's different. You're right, saying one this is one project, cohesive yeah. project that you've spent the most time on. I I was thinking about this thing of yours last night. Um, what's uh, what other games can you make in mm. Magic? I was thinking like you yeah, should do a Minecraft. Well, so I too. actually did a video a few years back about a 45 card set that's like along the same lines as my uh, Mario the Gathering project. Uh, so it was 45 custom magic cards that were all Minecraft themed. That was actually something that I did back when I worked at Microsoft. Uh, there We did like an eight person build your own draft. So each person designed 45 cards and then we pulled those cards together to make a 360 card set. So I was respons- responsible only for one eighth of the set at that point. So I actually have designed 45 custom magic cards I think Minecraft is like a little bit harder because it's not as much of a like 
gamey game as like the Mario universe has. Like Mario has a lot more just like right simple gamey concepts. I I I like I am thinking about maybe making a like a Minecraft set at some point, but I think it is actually harder. Um, I actually have have. I, yeah, I mean, I would think it would be harder. Like, you don't have, like, right. all the characters and stuff yeah. to pull from. I was thinking, when I was thinking about this last night, I was, that's the same thing I thought. Um, but I was thinking you could, like, mm-hmm. incorporate, yeah. like, YouTubers and, like, Mojangsters yeah. and stuff it's like that bit, as well, yeah. maybe. It's um, a little bit, it'd be a little bit different. Because I'm like, Mario has a lot of, like, canon stuff, right? Stuff that's, like, in the universe. There's lore, mm. kind of. And, uh, yeah. Is there any Is Mario game that you did not um, include? I think there are are a couple i've been trying to include a reference to as many as possible like there's a lot of mario tennis games there's a lot of mario party games i've only have like vague references to those um i don't know Mm -hmm. of any specific mario game that i like don't have a reference to at least like the series that that mario game is from but uh, i i think it's it's like very possible that that i miss i miss one or two but i've been trying to like i've been been trying to what uh there's Dr. a card Mario called Dr. Mario. You know? <laughs> what he does, oh. what Dr. Mario yeah, does is if uh, if you have three cards that are the same color in your graveyard or in your opponent's graveyard, you can like m- make them go away to destroy uh, a creature. So it's like uh, it's like how you're trying to get three in a row okay. in Dr. Mario, right? That the game, yeah. So you mm-hmm. get to destroy a virus. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty cool. This is insane, Seth. I'm like scrolling. No, there's Photoshop a program all these cards? called Magic Set Editor that you can use to like uh, lay out the cards. Oh, there's and more everything. programs. Yeah, that one. I mean, no one else has to have that one for me to or to like play the set or anything. That's just for me. <laughs> have you ever played Magic Sevenus? Literally never. Uh, but clearly you saying that he should include like YouTubers and stuff in a Minecraft deck is just your way of being like, finally, I can be in a magic set. Yeah, it's my whole life, life dream is to be this in a is magic my set. ambition. After Super Fight, I can only look up. Yeah. Yeah. To, <laughs> to uh, a fan to made, a, a fan made <laughs> magic <for> set. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the uh, Super Fight set might as well not have been for sale. It's not like they ever paid us a penny. Huh. We never got paid for I that. Bought, I bought one for my parents. Dime. They kept saying, well, we're losing money. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Um, Thank you. These are very yeah. good. I mean, like, I wouldn't look, know if they're good. They look like real magic. Good. <laughs> yeah, I've they also worked good. pretty hard to like, uh, I've been working really hard to polished. make sure that they are worded like real magic cards would be worded too. They like, yeah. Yeah, for real. They are. Yeah, 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 there's a whole set of mechanics, Um, things like there's a super mechanic that like, you know how you know how when Mario gets like firepower and then if Mario like takes a hit while he has firepower, instead of dying, he just becomes small Mario again. Right. That's essentially what super does. Like this whole set of creatures where if they get powered up and then like if something would kill them instead, it just they just lose the power up. That sort of thing. Oh, that's fun. Thank you so yeah. much Jeff, for playing my game. That's one of the flavor texts. That's, a, that's one of the flavor. card calls so flavor long. Tax. Yeah. Did you did yeah. did you recognize? No, I know that? everything about. <laughs> I've been <laughs> I've been going through, especially the, the last couple of days. I've been combing through. Like I'm trying to finalize the set right now, so I've been combing through cards. Can you actually get these printed? Um, though, yeah, for yeah. I, I think there. I've like heard of people getting. Uh, there's like Surely even there's some way. pretty high like quality card like cardstock prints you can get done i'm not sure it's i do want like a tick attack a toe oh wait that's from a manual that's <laughs> not his voice from... i do want to uh get the cards printed yeah, that's uh, so that i can just like play in real life with my friends but and i'm also gonna release like a pdf so that people can print them and kind of instructions for how like the best way to go about um kind of proxying the, the set yeah Surely there's somebody on Etsy you can't who like does this. That's just all they do. Know, They're the magic printers. Yeah, they just print <laughs> custom magic yeah. cards. Maybe they, they wouldn't. Okay. The, maybe there's actually not on Etsy. Sorry. I think like there are companies that'll print <laughs> custom stuff, but I don't know to They're what on. extent they like care about copyrights and whatever. I know right. that like I can just yeah. send the file to that's like, probably the biggest thing. Like print it, you know, on paper or whatever. 
Oh, but that's not like it's actually not bad. The uh, same. What I usually do is I print it on paper, cut it out, and then insert it into a sleeve with a regular card, and so it ends up feeling like a regular card, and it looks like a regular card oh, too. Oh, because you yeah, do sleeves. Yeah, with sleeves, it's not too bad. Mm. Yeah, that's so almost cool. done with the projects. It's it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, or just throw them on heavy yeah. card stock. Oh, but then aligning the backs yeah. would really suck. But I guess you don't need to if you're using um sleeves. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Wow, Seth, it's, it's what a project. Fun. Are you gonna feel empty no, on the I'll inside? Be, I'll be Trudeau? proud. I'll be proud that I, you know, finished a big project. I don't know. What's what's I might, after I might this? Do some Minecraft stuff again. What gets you up at four AM, Seth? <laughs> what gets me up? Yeah, so what gets you up at four AM? Get me up at four AM. Apparently not this. <laughs> really? Really? That's bedtime. Surely there's something. What do you mean it's bedtime? That's like normally about the time I'm going to bed. Why are there different colored hats, Mario hats? Different colored Mario on these oh, cards. Oh. Like right next to legendary creature human. Yeah, you're cleric, talking about the set golden symbol. Mario hat. So every set, every set of magic cards has a symbol that identifies like what group of cards it belongs to. So that Mario hat is the set symbol. Yeah, so the yeah, different they're colors different are colors. Uh, they're like rarity symbols. No, they're all different. So which oh how rare they right, are right it doesn't that, that doesn't you, make any right. sense because there's not uh that's oh, more, okay. more to like signal to players okay. like players have expectations <laughs> when they see like a common card like what the power level of that card is versus a rare card or yeah so it's still like kind of signal oh, okay. the, the power level of the card uh there's m r u c s i su- assume the u c is uncut the uh, S is. Yeah, I think you're talking about like the rarity of the card. I literally don't know what any of this means. Where? Yeah, what is what is M? Master. Uh, R is rare for sure. U uncommon. C common. What card are you looking S. At? What's what's below common? I I'm at the top of the page oh, looking yeah. at the rarity filter. Okay, mythic, rare, uncommon, um, common, special maybe. Common and then S. Spe- is I think it's be- special. What's below common. Yeah. Oh, special. Oh, that, I think it's just like common? after all the other ones because oh. it's usually it's like sets don't usually have them because it's special. Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, yeah. this is fun. Oh, man. So yeah, play, it's actually it, it really balanced. I, I I mean, I try and draft something different every time. Like, like I said, we've been doing like one one or two drafts every stream and I almost always win. <laughs> <laughs> So I uh, like, yeah, I mean, every it's possible to win with every strategy for sure. I think I have a lot more experience drafting than a lot of my viewers and also like, you know, design the set in its entirety. So, uh, but yeah. Just, so what you're saying is you always win and you're not the kind of person right. that's like, oh, I'll that's let true. you win this time. But, but no, the, I, I, <laughs> I, I do think that the set is actually, uh, has gotten pretty well balanced. All the different strategies have all their own and it's actually pretty cool to see uh like most of the most of the matches that we play are like back and forth it's like you get to the mid game you're really not sure who's going to win and it kind of depends what people draw and how people play and it it ends up the games themselves are very like back and forth and and just like fun because of you you always kind of feel like you have a way to win that's cool when when do we do the advertising now no, I do but have like, a question how do they, they, they uh, find... I just go to my YouTube channel oh, yeah. and all the most find? recent videos. We've been talking <laughs> all my, about this all for my most minutes. recent videos have, have been on the topic. There's links to, um, there's like a link to the document for how you install the set, how you find the Discord where people are playing, and and uh, you can like try and join um, join a draft that someone's running or even run your own draft. Uh, all that instructions. I'm not gonna lie. I I <laughs> stopped listening. My most recent YouTube videos. Sorry. His YouTube channel. YouTube.com slash Seth Oh, your Blame. YouTube videos. God, yeah. I, I, I heard yeah. it go into my ears and it just didn't yeah. process. Just Google Mario the Gathering. I see. I okay. Is there a way in, in the program used for drafting, can you do like a traditional draft where it pulls like you one can. rare, three uncommon? I've and heard of people whatever, doing it and they commons? said it's terrible. <laughs> I've... I, I've, it's not designed for that oh, at all, really? right? Like I said, I've just been picking the, the rarity level of the cards based on like what I think their power level is and not trying to like create an even distribution of rarities across the different like strategies or archetypes of the set. So yeah, it ends up like uh, really heavily in favor of like red green decks or something um, just because of that's where the rarity, like the common cards are the most powerful. 
whenever you first told me about no, this, that's yeah. what I thought you were creating. Because I know you said you wanted to create a draft set. I didn't know of cube, this type yeah, of drafting that, that you're doing. Is, is is there any magic, like official magic set they that don't, was released with uh, that in release, mind? But, uh, but yeah, you can, on Magic Online, the like, yeah, one of the main magic, um, you know, programs, not Arena, but the other one, the older one, there are regular uh, cube drafts that they do mm-hmm. for like two weeks at a time. Um, the classic cube in Magic is like includes the Power Nine, you know, Black Lotus and all the Moxen and all the really powerful cards. And and uh, but yeah, they all have I it's see. the same type of thing. So it's it's a pretty well established format. OK, so that's well. whenever you said cube draft, I didn't know that was a thing. I'd never heard that yeah. term before. Yeah, So that's why I designed so it for for that, that just so you could thing. like print all the cards. You have the set of cards. You don't need to like reprint the set every time with like a random distribution of commons and rares and whatever. Uh, you just print 360 cards and you can draft mm-hmm. them as much as you want. And that's the project. That's and that's cool. one hour. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you what it. was the thing you had to say? Who? Because you said you have your own project too. Me? No, I don't have a project. Oh. No. Well, I, I wanted well, to know if he thought about expanding it beyond Mario to something like Minecraft. That was a question I, I had. See. And he answered oh, it. Oh, because you want the card with your name on it. That's fine. That's not why, but sure. Well, it kind of is. Definitely well, why. I was trying to think of, well, you know, I was just thinking of what Seth's capable of. I mean, you never know what Seth's going to do. What two things can he combine What's he together? capable of? I mean, I learned this year that he can bake. I actually bake baked. Oven. I actually baked chicken. Hell yeah, he can. I baked chicken. It was raw chicken. God, and I made it, it so not raw. Well. And I ate it. And it was juicy and delicious. Yeah. I did this uh, like last week. When did you do that? First time I've ever cooked a chunk oh, of meat. Okay. He made brownies How, recently doing? too. Yeah, ever. Really? Uh, what are you doing okay. for food? Yes, right? No, no, let's we'll do, do that, that in premium. premium. Yeah. Never mind. Hey, On we're gonna we're gonna record a premium episode. If you want to listen to premium, uh, find the Patreon and make, give us oh. money, and you'll download it and stuff. Bye. All right. Uh, <laughs> bye. Mm.